What is up everybody, back again with another video and it brings joy to my heart to finally be able to do a character that I love as much as a character like Dr. Doom himself, Victor Von Doom is the living embodiment of, I don't give a crap if I don't have any powers like these other beings in Marvel, like whether you're a gamma power being like the Hulk who got power from, you know, mutated, he's a mutated person, you got mutants, who have, you got mutated superpowers, whether you're affected by power cosmic, like characters like the Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom is a character who is literally the living embodiment of hard work and dedication and becoming a threat with his intellect, training, skills, willpower, hard work, and all of these things combined because technically without his suit, without his study of magic, without his intelligence, he wouldn't be Victor Von Doom himself. His gear, his intellect, and everything he worked hard for, and including his magical skills, is the reason why he's as powerful as he is today. But how strong is Dr. Doom? Man, he has a lot of different ways to analyze how powerful he is. You got the, okay, you got the skill aspect, you got the armor aspect, you got the gadgets aspect, you got the scientific aspect, you got the intelligence, you got the prep time aspect. For this video, before it, so it won't be too long, I will not be going over like his super long prep time feats. I'll probably save those for other videos. I'll be doing multiple videos about Dr. Doom because he's a very, very cool character. And fun fact, my favorite magician of all time in Marvel. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. At the time of me making this video, he is my favorite magician. Even I like him better than Doctor Strange because he has other elements that I like other, you know, I like the Iron Man aspect of him. He feels like literally Iron Man and Doctor Strange put together. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, by the way, for those that don't know, the fant both Fantastic Four movies, even the ones you probably liked back in 2003, 2004, 2005, uh, even they did Doctor Doom wrong, by the way. Dr. Doom's armor has a lot of different weapons up his arsenal, and man, he's a scientific genius. It's like, dang, Iron Man got some competition, shoot. Of course, you know they gotta do it. I mean, without his armor, he's like technically just a normal human, right, in Marvel, right? And we can't have that, he's Dr. Doom. So his armor gives him super strength enough to be able to break out of nets. So he got super strength because of his armor. It even protects him against crazy attacks, durability-wise, so yeah, he's enhanced. That's right, it even has force fields. It can fire energy blasts, of course. All this stuff is still not even getting into his magical stuff yet. It has automatic life support systems, of course, which even has its own oxygen supply. It even shields him from paralyzing fumes. Infrared lenses. It can even give off electricity, too. It has a molecular expander. Like on some Ant-Man type stuff, like he could literally throw like a little small piece of rock at you, expand it to where it's a big lethal rock that will cause major damage due to the mass it's changed in the molecular structure. This will come completely in handy against a lot of foes. They're not getting into his magical stuff. This is just purely scientific and his armor at this point. What's a villain like him not to have knockout gas? Oh, of course, his suit has a teleporter as well. Are you kidding me? His suit has a time circuitry system to where it can travel in time too? Come on, Doom. That wasn't enough. He has personal energy adapters, which is, oh man, the legendary Dr. Doom being able to steal people's powers. This is more than likely the reason and on top of his prep. We don't know anything about Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom is known for draining people, draining powers. He's known to be a siphoning master. <laughs> oh my gosh. On top of all this insanity, I'm still not done telling all his weaponry and gear that his armor has. He even has special weapons that a lot of people don't know about. He has hypnotism, repulsor rays to make soldiers fight each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. Portable cloaking units. A psionic refractor. Like if somebody tried to attack him mentally, he could use that to like hit their psionic energy right back at them. He has like sonic disruptors as well. He has sleep inducing tranquilizer rays. Oh yeah, he's fighting Hulk here. I'll go back to the Hulk fights in a little bit. Nerve scrambling rays. Yeah, that, yeah, that's Hulk again. He claims that his armor has pieces of the true cross to protect him against characters like Dracula. Like Doom is literally so paranoid, he prepared for everything in his armor. This might be the most pe overpowered armor in history, I swear. Based on all the stuff I've already showed you, man, he already seems invincible, doesn't he? But just to let you know, I've only re really just scratched the surface. This is really just to give you an idea of overview of how overpowered his armor is. Let me get into one aspect a lot of people don't know about him either. Like I said before, he's the living embodiment of hard work and dedication and becoming a powerful being with his brains, intellect, hard work, willpower, and etc. So of course he learned fighting skills. Stated that he trained under fencing masters in a sword fight. Yeah, he can actually use a sword too. Skilled combat. One of his many fights with Iron Man is showing that he can deflect blasts with a sword too. Combat speed wise. This is a kind of, yeah, skills. He can possess people's body. Yeah, that's a long story. But while he was possessing people's bodies, he, he possessed Daredevil and he was a pretty good Daredevil. I mean, he has hand-to-hand -hand combat, too, to look convincingly like Daredevil. He's one of those few people that can use Captain America's shield, deflect it, and throw it back. He even is implied to have combat speed comparable to Spider-Man, even just like his natural speed. Attack Spider-Man and grab him. 
completely naked Doctor Doom with no armor at all is able to kill an actual lion. You know, you know how Marvel humans are. Like even with Marvel humans with no type of super soldier serum or anything, are capable of stuff that would otherwise be considered superhuman. But in Marvel, this isn't all that out of the ordinary. But it just shows like yeah, he's he's a definitely a he's a normal human by definition, but physically he's not a normal human at all. He even has enough hand hand combat skills where he was depowered and was able to. F but his armor was like depowered by EMP at the moment. It was able to fight on par with Black Panther, even though it seems like an EMP wouldn't be able to do nothing to do him. You, th you would think he would have thought of that, right? Sure. And Black Panther is definitely one of the best hand-in combats in Marvel for obvious reasons. I think I want to go back to his strength now. Like now that you know that his suit grants him all these different things, all these different types of gears, all these different types of special weapons so far, let's get into, whoa, how strong is he actually though? Without even getting into his magic stuff, just just how strong is his suit physically and what kind of enhancements this suit has? What level of strength is Dr. Doom actually on? Without any form of energy projection, blast power, magical blast power, energy projection and stuff like that. Can lift large boulders like this. Can crush diamonds, of course, with his raw strength his suit gives him. Was able to toss this large rock away. Yep, strength again. Was able to overpower this Atlantean with his ridiculously overpowered armor. This Atlantean was supposedly, quote unquote, on par with Namor. A stake, and this is underwater as well? Oh boy, here we go in the tail of the tape. Now we get an idea of where his suit ranks. Oh my goodness, being able to grab it out with Hulk and physical strength, letting you know this is one of his best strength feats ever. I'm not saying he's exactly equal to Hulk, but to be able to hang in there a little bit, you know, of course I'm going to still give Hulk the advantage because, you know, Hulk's the god of strength basically in Marvel, other than like Hercules and Thor and him. But, you know, in physical strength by himself, he's able to hang in there. But other means is the reason why he's up on par with characters like this, not just strength alone though. So there was this robot replica of Hulk that was empowered by Power Cosmic. And he was able to fight on par with that thing. I think this is a good time to get into some of his durability while grappling with Hulk and physical strength. Of course, he got overpowered. You know, his suit is able to take hits from the Hulk himself, only putting a dent in his armor, showing how durable his suit is made. His armor is even so durable, he was able to take a blast from characters like Thanos. You remember how I talked about blasters earlier? Well, let's get into some of... Okay, another part of him, what makes him a powerhouse, is the combination of a lot of things. His strength alone doesn't make him in the powerhouse level with black hole level beings, but a combination of that and magic blasters from his suit itself is what makes him high end. On top of his suit giving him ridiculous super strength, his blasters give him the strength to be able to slug it out with Hulk on top of his blast power, be able to temporarily knock back Hulk in their actual battle or scuffle, or some would say. Even his blasters could be so powerful, it looks like Hulk is possibly KO'd here, like, God, dog, Hulk. I don't even have to show you guys Hulk's feet. I mean, you can just look all over my page. The Hulk has ridiculous feet. I mean, his blasters can even hurt beings like Namor himself. <laughs> like I went over earlier, his suit has a lot of different things. Blasters, electricity, super strength, gives him enhanced durability. And, oh, don't even let me get started on how his force fields do. I mean, not only is he able to fight on par with characters like Captain Britain, somebody you probably don't have no respect for because you ain't never heard about him, but his force field can take attacks from characters like him without even getting near him. Now, this is where the absurdity gets ridiculous. His force fields were able to take a couple blasts from Celestials? Universal beings? Temporarily, though. Don't get me wrong, he was defeated, but he was able to hold it for a, for a, a second, though. Yeah, he can't take these many Celestials on. Nah, not even Doom. Yeah, I know he's powerful, but not even Doom. Not only is he able to physically fight on par with characters like The Thing, but he has force fields that are strong enough to take hits from a powerhouse like The Thing, not to mention that he can take on the Fantastic Four with his force fields but like The Thing. Being a perfect counter for a, for a team like this, I mean, this is one of the most versatile teams, The Thing, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic with his brain, and Invisible Woman, so he would need all these things against them. The biggest question is that, oh yeah, Dr. Doom wears metal in his armor, right? So shouldn't he uh, be able to like, shouldn't Magneto be able to have his day with Dr. Doom? Well, not necessarily. His force fields and things like that protect them from Magneto's powers. So, yeah, he's been able to counteract Magneto's metal-bending abilities with his armor. Like, this dude has true protection. He's even been shown to be able to block, you know, characters like Cyclops' Optic Blast, who's mountain-level busting power at least, blast power-wise. Oh, so why don't we just teleport inside of his force field since we can't, you know, get to him, right? Oh, yeah, his force field can keep characters like Nightcrawler out, too, so no teleporting through his force field. Of course, it can block most firearms and random stuff, of course. Even stuff like rifle fire, of course, right? Oh, he doesn't even, oh, by the way, he doesn't even need a force field to block this. But he does it anyway, just to show that, yo, y'all ain't ready. 
something I missed or, earlier, but he his armor has a guidance system, kind of like how Iron Man and you know Captain America Civil War, where he was learning Captain America's fight pattern. It has a similar element to that, where it teaches him what to do and in what situations and what's the best possible outcome type of thing. I've said this before. Now let me get into some of his draining abilities. There was a time he was able to drain Nightmare, this mystical being, and he got his powers from it. His armor even has a thermo energizer that absorbs solar energy. The thing has fought the Hulk way too many times to be lowball in raw strength. And Dr. Doom was able to fight not only the thing, but in physical strength as well, but fight the other members of the Fantastic Four with a combination of his shields, armor shields, armor blasters, and armor's physical strength, even being able to trade blows with characters like the thing. Yeah, he's able to consistently fight on par and slug it out with characters like The Thing. And after, yeah, this dude is really freaking strong. Underrated powerhouse as well. He even has gear that can, like, paralyze him, too. I mentioned that Doom has actually fought the Hulk himself. He used the tranquilizer special weapon thingy to turn Hulk back into banner. Yeah, he has gear all sorts of ways. Not only is Dr. Doom a freaking threat, like, already, right? Not only is he has really good scaling when it comes to strength fighting characters like The Thing, the Hulk himself, the, the poster boy for strength himself. And not only that, on top of that is blast power, blasters, magical ability, which I haven't even gone over yet. Oh, speaking of which, it's time to get into his magical abilities. Oh, boy. All this stuff I already named, but how about the fact he's actually Marvel's one of Marvel's greatest sorcerers on top of all this? Striving to be the best he can be. Look, he actually has his own like magical arcane library for spells and things like that. Yeah, he's dedicated on being the best in almost pretty much every category. To be the best, this dude actually went back in time so he can, like, train and be caught up by the time he hits his actual real timeline the old-fashioned way. Like, like he literally went back in time and studied all the way those years just so he can come back into the present. Like, yeah, he's that dedicated to magic, yeah. Talk about willpower, right? I mean, he already has this overpowered armor that can slug it out with the thing and carries, like, the Hulk, right, physically. I mean, sheesh, he has this... On, on, under his belt too talking about level of versatility magic might be one of the most versatile things ever he can even summon a legion of monsters on top of the fact he has technology in his own country and doom bots like literally use them to overwhelm the avengers like he's a team buster type character because of his prep magical abilities and be able to just summon stuff at his beck and call on top of the doom bots boy those doom bots Remember how I was talking about shields earlier? Those were just his technological shields, like his shields made from his actual armor, his technology, his scientific nature. But how about the fact when he wants to, he can make magical shields too if somehow, some way, his mechanical or scientific force fields from his technological suit won't work. Yeah, he can make different type of... How do you even get close to this guy? They are even strong enough to disintegrate people that hit it. Like, gosh... You know, uh, when he was fighting with, with the Hulk's son known as Scar, Scar, one of the few people that was actually able to get through Dr. Doom's, you know, armor because he's, you know, he's a gamma member. He's ridiculously strong. Um, so he got his arm kind of cut in half by Scar. Not only was he able to endure the pain. Ah, oh, this is some serious freaking pain. Not only was he able to blast off Scar, hurting Scar in the process, he was actually able to use a spell to heal his actual arm. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, he's fighting on par with Scar, by the way. Another feat of battle feat wise of his raw power with his magical abilities. A combination of his armor, magical abilities, blasters, magical abilities. Can, he can fight on par with beings. I, I do believe physically he's not quite equal with characters like the Hulk and stuff. But when you add on top of his magical blast power, magical shields, suit blast power, and all the combination of things, I think it concretes him into the black hole level for sure, especially durability wise. We already know durability wise, he's there because of his armor, shielded by magical shields. He has magical spells that can send people back in time. Like, she's Doom literally sent her all the way back to the Dawn of Man. Even supposedly stripped other sorceress of their power and added it to his own? Or occasions of him casting healing magic. You know the crimson bands that Doctor Strange always uses? How about Doctor Doom was able to do that as well? So there was this other magician known as Doctor Voodoo, a being that's probably going to be in the MCU soon. He was able to undo the penis stare that was done to Doctor Voodoo with his magical abilities. There's this time this being was turned into stone, right? To Doom knows spells to be able to reverse it to turn him back to normal. Sheesh! Remember how I mentioned earlier how he can teleport because of his suit's technology? Well, guess what? He can teleport with magic too on top of his <laughs> technological teleportation. Ionless ones, beings that you usually see in the dark dimension. Dr. Doom was able to summon them with his magical abilities too. He just dude can just summon legions. 
If I'm being honest, Doctor Doom is one of those characters where realistically he should technically never ever lose. Actually, I mean, when you really think about all the stuff he can do, can mind transfer, you can create magical fields, can create technological shields, all this type of things. I mean, all this on top of the fact he has absurd willpower. Oh yeah, willpower. Let's not even get into that. Spent millions of years learning magic. That's some serious willpower, all for some revenge. Literally took over the will of another person. Even powerful telepaths like Emma Frost can't enter his mind because he just he just has that much willpower. It's like shielded by pure willpower. Literally is able to hold his physical form together with psionic abilities. Another person that can mind control you and make you do whatever you want to do is able to resist the mind control of Purple Man as well. Mind controls the giant creature. I said this earlier in the video, but I will not be going over feats of like Doctor Doom, like, you know, God Doom or you know, beyond their powered up doom, like those are for another videos and stuff like that. But I will be going over some of his gear. He used the power siphon. It's like, we all know doom for being able to steal people's powers. I mean, why do you even need to steal powers, doom? You already freaking Dr. Doom with all this stuff up your arsenal. I just went over this vid. I mean, I've already shown you a few cases of him power siphoning or draining people of their energy. He created a chair at Analyze and Power Drain. Silver Surfer, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he's done this stuff like consistently. Consistently shown to be able to trick beings like the Silver Surfer and steal his power cosmic was able to steal the power of a watcher the rogue watcher this dude's stealing powers for days man with his tech and stuff and his magical in intelligence even galactus himself has gotten his power stolen like stop stealing people's powers doom occasion of him stealing from like come on doom it's scary to think about all this stuff i've already told you about doom man and it's already it's scary to think about all this stuff he has but he's also like considered the second most intelligent person next to reed riches and think about what reed riches has done a being that has like made a device to nullify the power of cosmic cubes yet he's second only to him on top of him learning magic having suits that can take blasts from hulk hits from hulk has strength of his suit that can you know slug it out with characters like hulk and the thing even hurt those characters like that even has spells to heal himself can fight on par with characters like scar with a combination of his magic has magical shields on top of his electric uh, technology type shields teleportation devices all across the board and all this type of stuff. His intelligence is also absurd. Oh, of course, he's able to slug it out for characters like Iron Man because of his suit, of course. So, of course, Doctor Doom was like, he would definitely create an adamantium chainsaw. Like, really, Doctor Doom? Really, though? An adamantium chainsaw? He used alien technology to transfer humans into superpowered beings. He's smart enough to reconstruct the destroyer armor, though, by powering the Odin Force from Asgardians. They say his brain is comparable to a sophisticated computer. He is so much of a threat when it comes to his intelligence and power. Thanos himself keeps him under surveillance. He's that much of a threat. Yeah, Thanos. Even characters like Loki are worried about Doctor Doom, thinking that he can even clone the trickster. Doctor Doom is so freaking smart, he even discovered how to harness the mystical energies of our brain and something even Wakandans. Wakandans? Supposedly the most civilized or technologically advanced country in the planet Earth and used it to connect him to every fragment of vibranium somehow, whatever this means. He stated that it was better than possessing the power of cosmic. So yeah, the mystical property of vibranium. I figured vibranium had to be mystical. I, mean, I know I haven't got into stuff like this. Like, yeah, I know this is crazy. Uh, Doctor Doom using Iron Man's armor and all new order. All yeah, I'm gonna get into that later. But yeah, that's another video. But yeah, he did this too. And we're definitely not even going to talk about this, the the uh, the God Doom. Yeah, that's too much. Did I mention that his armor is actually adaptive and self-aware? Like, in other words, his armor could be considered alive. And he can, like, uh, switch his souls into other people's bodies. Yeah, the ov ovoid. Yeah, uh-huh. He, he can even increase the uh, level of gravity on somebody. Like, really? On some graviton type stuff, too? <laughs> Has even drained people like Terex. Yeah, I'm just going over just random stuff at this point. He even disabled Scarlet Witch's powers too with a device and transmuted characters like Storm. This dude, Doctor Doom, is ridiculous. Remember, I showed you how he healed his arm from getting cut by Scar. Yeah, he healed his own broken neck too. Did he actually make weather change, or did he actually just transmute fire into snow? Transmuted cars and people into monsters. Surviving having his heart transmuted. His very own Doombots that are powered by the power of Cosmic on some occasions, he can even take on a mob of them as well if he has to. Yeah, they are emulation of the power of Cosmic. I wasn't lying. They're not weaklings either, like fighter. They're powered up by some ridiculous energies. Well, guys, there you have it. Dr. Doom is the living embodiment of hard work and dedication, has ridiculous feats, can match characters like the Hulk and the Thing, 
can his shields can take blast from Captain Brit and he's second only to Doctor Strange when it comes to mystic arts. Intelligence wise, he's second to only Reed Richards. On top of him, I've all this this training and all these different. He has his own arcane library for peace sake. I mean, Doctor Doom is nothing to be reckoned with. I mean, I think he concretes himself in the powerhouse level at this point, black hole level with other powerhouse beings or even higher due to versatility. Some could even consider him on the Titan level, Skyfather range, depending on what you what, how, what you are, where you are in the battle community. I mean, he's definitely in that level range. I mean, he's fought in all the p big powers you can think of, fought groups of heroes, has doom bots that can help aid him in battle, can summon monsters in the middle of battle, can summon mindless ones from the dark dimension, heck if he has to. I mean, it's nothing much he can't really do. He's might, he might actually be one of the most versatile characters of all time. He even has transmutation on some fire storm type stuff, can like turn fire into ice and vice versa, transmute characters like storm into actual inanimate stuff can undo transmutation stuff like redoing has the spells and knowledge to be able to unstone people like people that are turning into stone can be transformed back to normal thanks to dr doom i mean it's nothing much he can't do realistically speaking if he was actually written to his full of potential in every story he technically shouldn't hardly lose really I mean, not because he's like got the most blast power or just the raw power output by itself. It's just because of the versatility. Realistically, he shouldn't really ever lose based on all this stuff he has. I mean, he has mystical shields on top of his suit shields, on top of his actual armor being durable enough to take hits from Hulk by being dented, can heal himself if necessary. So it's like he has regeneration due to his spells. Has a, He's healed himself on multiple occasions, like healing his own broken neck, and healing his arm, can transfer his soul into other people's body, can mind transfer people, kind of control people, basically. So he's kind of on some telepathic type stuff. Not only that, he has resistance to everything his armor does. His armor has resistance to the magic, resistance to transmutation, his resistance to mind control because of his raw willpower just can hold his body together with psionic energy just willpower like stuff that you wouldn't think he would have it's like how does he ever lose his technology electricity he can use pretty much every element you can think of it's just he's just the living embodiment of hardware dedication and on top of this he has hand-in-hand -hand combat enough to be able to fight on par with kids like black panther and things like that i mean what else can you ask for somebody this is just too overpowered how does he ever lose but what do you guys think Post your comments down below and let me know what you all think, man. Is this guy overpowered? Do you think he's too powerful for his own good? Do you like Dr. Doom? Do you hope the MCU does him right and doesn't overly nerf him? I know we know he's going to be nerfed in the MCU, but it's a possibility. It's a way to do him without being overly nerfed. But that could be just me hoping for the best. But what do you guys think? I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. What did you learn about Dr. Doom in this video that you didn't know? That I mentioned some stuff Death Battle didn't even post. I tried to post stuff that even Death Battle didn't know to further give a deeper analysis on Dr. Doom because he deserves it. Dr. Doom is my favorite magician of all time due to him, you know, just being a beast and bad a being being an iron man and dr strange fusion that's what it seems but i would be doing more dr doom videos do you want more videos of dr doom like this let me know in the comments below let me know your thoughts did you learn a lot new things make sure you check out the playlist in the description below i do a lot of videos like this in this playlist known as the how strong series I also do new stuff like nighttime series and things like that i do a lot of new things check out the gear and the fill links check out the description share subscribe like make sure I, I see you on other comments on the videos this better not be the last video i see you on because i'll be looking for you but I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Victor Von Doom.